Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about Alexa Bliss and a return to WWE. Because it's safe to say, and like this video if you agree, WWE is missing Alexa Bliss. The women's division is missing Alexa Bliss. She brings something fresh, dynamic and exciting to our television. Whether you like it or hate it, it is something different. And this whole Alexa Bliss... Lily shenanigans, it does get people talking. But I don't think WWE are going to return her in that gimmick or anything similar to that gimmick. And we're going to go through that in this video. Along the way, it'd be awesome to hear your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the therapy sessions? Do you think that Alexa Bliss is going to come back as the goddess? Are we going to see something more dark and more sinister? Or are we going to see a hybrid of Alexa Bliss? Is Alexa Bliss going to turn into Lily? There are a number of scenarios that could come around from this and it'll be interesting to see what happens. But here's my take. I feel that the therapy sessions week to week are basically ways of transforming Alexa Bliss back to some form of sanity. And what I mean by that is away from the whole hocus pocus playground Alexa for example, right? And I feel WWE want to give Alexa Bliss a gimmick that's her own, that's authentic, that we relate purely to Alexa Bliss and there's no association with The Fiend. No one can criticise her gimmick because it's ultimately her own. And I feel that there's a way that makes sense with WWE doing this and I'm going to go through it. If we look at what fans love from Alexa Bliss, right? They love the goddess version of Alexa Bliss. When you think of the goddess version of Alexa Bliss, you think dominance, titles, absolute weapon. Five major titles. Two-time SmackDown Women's Champion, three-time Raw Women's Champion. Can't argue it. The most dominant era of Alexa Bliss's career. Then, of course, she transitioned into what we kind of can only best describe as maybe like a female version of The Fiend in her initial run in association with The Fiend. And then of course she went for this like whole whack job, similar to the Firefly Funhouse, but with the playground, Alexa Bliss and Lily. Now, there are fans that are on both sides that like both elements of Alexa Bliss's previous gimmicks, right? There are fans that are obsessed with the goddess gimmick. There are fans that are obsessed with the playground version of Alexa. So why not, not necessarily merge the two, but give us something new in terms of Alexa Bliss, but have elements of her old characters. Now there's no denying that the goddess was dominant, that the fiend version of Alexa Bliss was pretty evil, dark and sinister. I mean, what the hell did we see at WrestleMania 37? We can't forget about that. The playground version was a bit of a whack job. And what we're seeing in the therapy sessions is a transformation week by week into what seemingly visually looks like more of a goddess Alexa Bliss. We can see that week on week, that trans transformation. Now, with a bit of a Harley Quinn twist in there, I would love to see Alexa Bliss return as a dark goddess version of Alexa Bliss. So that means no hocus pocus. That means an authentic, badass, beautiful, dominant, forced to be reckoned with version of Alexa Bliss with no hocus pocus in the background, just Alexa Bliss in the ring, dominant. Also a bit cuckoo, but knowing where to push or put the boundaries, should I say. Just make sure that this character is just absolutely badass and dominant. In the main event title picture as well, you put the strap on Alexa Bliss, as a dark goddess, fans are going to follow. That way you please most of the audience as well. And I honestly feel this is the way that things are going to go. Alexa Bliss has already said when people have asked her about if she's going to return as the goddess, she's already stated that she's going to be doing something slightly new. Now WWE have filed the trademark, the copyright, to the Alexa Bliss goddess version. But what if we see a dark goddess version of Alexa Bliss. And I really feel that could work. I think people would take that seriously. And it's almost like Alexa Bliss as the goddess, but with the volume slightly turned up, a Harley Quinn sort of element and twist to her character, just a little bit 
craze, but you know where to draw the line. But the main thing is, she's dominant in the ring. She's an amazing promo. So we know she can be, she's going to be diverse. She's going to be uh, dynamic with her character input. We know that. We know Alexa Bliss can do that. And she will sell a character like that. But along the way, like, why hide the pretty face of Alexa Bliss? Why hide the incredible mic skills? Why take her away from the main event title picture? You don't have to. You can do all those things with that character. But Alexa Bliss has kind of sorted herself out in that element. Like, she's learned from the past and it's made her come back stronger than ever. Like, and that Alexa Bliss is dangerous. She's danced with the devil himself in the feet. You know, she's seen and faced and, and conquered her demons, if you like. She's had these therapy sessions. She's still a little bit cuckoo, but she's dominant. And you take her seriously. And I honestly feel that would be the way to bring Alexa Bliss back. And I honestly feel that's the way it would work best as Alexa Bliss. And you tick the box on, on most fronts. I don't want to see her. I, I did originally think it could work like a split personality where you've got the goddess and then like a lily version of Alexa. But I really feel that WWE want to distance themselves from the playground version of Alexa. Put that clear gap between Alexa Bliss and The Fiend and the association with The Fiend. Unless, of course, he comes back. <laughs> like this video if you want the, the fiend to come back. And, and that could be the way it works. But whatever they do, I don't want them to rush it. If we see her in the Elimination Chamber, is the mystery guest, then fantastic. But she's got to win. You can't bring her back and then job, because that would be a huge mistake. So don't bring her back if it's rushed. Apparently there's been nine episodes filmed of these therapy sessions according to sources, Fightful Select have mentioned that. And uh, so that would suggest that there's a bit of longevity in this, in this build up to this full transformation of whatever we see from Alexa Bliss. But WWE, knowing WWE, could cut it short. I don't think we'll actually see nine go to television, but if they do cut it short, don't rush it, rush it, don't mess things up. And it'd be interesting to know whether this was the original plan all along, if WWE have changed their mind last minute like they normally do. Whatever they do, it cannot go wrong with a dark goddess version of Alexa, in my opinion. What do you think? Be really interested to hear your thoughts and opinions. Get down in the comments section. It's really exciting times in the women's division, actually. As stale as it is and as a bit dull as it was and predictable to bring the likes of Rousey back to win the Rumble, for example, um, I'm looking forward to seeing Lacey Evans come back, Oscar come back, Bailey come back, and could one of them be the mystery entrant in the Women's Elimination Chamber? Remains to be seen. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be really appreciative if you could like the video, share the video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in another video.